All right, welcome back to another Doomsday Kingdom Army video. I'm going to be showing you three masks by this incredible, incredible Michael Myers mask maker. His name is Ken Greedy. I'll leave all his links in the description. Without further ado, let's check this shit out. Let's start off with the first mask here. This is a sadistic. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a, a mix of Halloween 2 and Halloween 1. Kind of feels like it. It feels like the, the face is a little rounder. But either way, Halloween 1 mix. I didn't care. I saw it. I loved it. I needed it. I had to have it. And this is one of his more... Reasonable priced masks, not that the other two are unreasonable, but you can get this at at a lower cost than the other two masks I'll be showing you. And um, one of the things I really love about it is is the hair. He really uh, it made it so easy to set for me. All the twists were there. I I, I love this mask. I think it's incredible. All three of the masks that you're gonna see are incredible. This one is is something I really like. I'm going to try doing something. I'm going to turn down the lights a little bit. Let's take a look at Mikey in the dark. I'm glad I did this now. I think I'm going to start doing this with uh, most of the masks I unbox now. Because, especially horror, you want that creep factor. You want it to look pretty scary. Let's even switch the light around and see if we can get something a little different here. Let me make sure I can switch it right. That's kind of cool. Don't mess with this guy walking down the street. Very cool. I love the shine light. There's nothing more cool than looking at a mask at night with low lights like this. I think we can even dim this light down a little bit more. There we go. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think that sadistic's pretty badass. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. And we'll definitely be doing this dimming lights with mask reviews on these, these types of masks, whether it's Jason, Freddy, Michael, you know, good old Mikey. Michael Myers is my all-time favorite. Jason, a close second. All right, let's get to the next ones. All right, next up we have two Horror Sanctum Studios 75 Shatners. So I'm guessing he, these are from Shatner molds. He transformed into, well, I'll show you the first one. Let's start with that. That's easier. All right. There's the first horror, horror sanctum. Let me make sure I got it right. Horror Sanctum Studio 75 Shatner. Again, I really love the hair. I messed you up a little bit, but we'll fix that up. But the hair looks fantastic. I really like this mask a lot. Showed me, I was like, ah, oh, yeah, I gotta have that one too. Such a My Myers fan, I just want to own a whole bunch of them. Check out new people's work. I'm definitely glad I checked out Ken Greedy. Uh, let's uh, let's turn down these lights and start talking about it a little more because I really like doing that. I like that. So give me a second. Be right back. I think what I'll do on this mask is kind of just show you guys. I'll let Vanguard, my aunt, the guy who's been editing for me, Vanguard2236. Got to give him a big shout out. Been a huge help. Once 
again, that's the Horus Sanctum 75 Shatner. I got another one coming up. This is one I really, really wanted to get to. I had to have it. And you'll see why in a second. All right, and now time for our third and final mask. Another Horror Sanctum Studios 75 Shatner. Boom. Blood Tears. No doubt who that is. Fix your head there a little bit. Get you looking up. And this is a great mask. I'm not going to do too much talking to this because I think a lot of it speaks for itself. It's got a real dirty, dirty look to it, which I like a lot, especially H2 because it was a dirtier mask since Deborah Hill had <laughs> had it under her, her mattress and was never to be used again. You got the needle hole. I think that's badass. So we're going to take a look at this one in the dark too. Hope you guys like it. And Greedy, did, you did a great job on these masks. I really love them a lot. All right, look at this in dark mode here. Round out your head a little bit. These just look so awesome in the dark. Play around with it. I really like this light, too. I can play around with it so much. dark and again I really 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 like right like how he set the hair for me it made it really easy don't want to mess with that boy, bad boy at night. Talk about three scary individuals right there. Doomsday Clown, Jason Seven. Blood Tears, Michael Myers. All right, well, thanks again for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed yourself, King Greedy. Big thank you, big, big thank you. Uh, I'm really happy to be able to review these masks. Did a fantastic job. Have a lot of fun looking at all these masks at night. Yours are definitely <laughs> some of my favorites that I got too. I got so many cool masks now, I don't even know where to start anymore. I've, so many really, really talented people out there. You guys, if you're interested in masks, feel free to Check the links for King Greedy. You can find him on Facebook and everything. He's got a, some new masks he's working on. He's got an H4. It's dark in here. Let's see what he called it again. It's going to be a Vincent 4. So I know that's coming up. And he's got another one uh, that's going to be coming out too. Also is a an H2O version of the Vincent. So a Vincent 7, I believe he said it was. Uh, once again, everybody, if you like the content, you're enjoying it, hit that like button for me. Let me know that you're enjoying it. Leave a comment. And if you're interested and you're just checking out the channel, give, I appreciate the subscriptions and the support. So until next time, guys, take care.